So, how about this? How about... <clears throat> excuse me. On Wednesday night, when I have an open night stream with nothing else to do, I do my first ever live interactive streaming review of the Fallout TV series on the DSP Reacts channel. Not only will it serve as a review, but we can immediately live talk about the show and have an interactive conversation about it. That's what I was thinking. Because I was thinking, man, if I do a review of this show, I'm probably going to go like 30, 40 minutes talking about it. But then I'm going to want feedback. And I'm not going to get feedback. I'm going to have to wait for that video to upload on demand and people to comment on it. And who knows if people will comment on it. And then what will happen is people will come by on podcasts and streams later in the week wanting to talk. But then there's spoilers. And I don't want people on my podcast to be spoiled on this show because you very well maybe are watching it. Like some people literally just said in the chat, I'm going to watch it soon. So then if I'm talking about it on my podcast, I don't want you to be spoiled, right? So I think that might be a good idea because that's one central place, one stream where we can hang out, interact. For those who've seen the show, we can talk about it. And, you know, no one can be spoiled because we've already seen it, right? And we can have fun interactions. Like, I'm curious what everyone thinks about some of the new lore and the lore changes based on the, the plot of the show versus the games. What do you think about the plot of the show? Do you think it's better or worse than the plot of the games? Um, would you like to see the games? How about this as a question? Would you like to see the games follow the lore of the show rather than the lore of the games? I think a lot of people, when it hit Fallout 4, were kind of like, uh, you know, I like Fallout 3 and New Vegas better. Well, the show's kind of focused on West Coast Fallout, you know, New Vegas-esque. So would you like to see another game possibly following that story? Um, but anyway, these are all things we could talk about in this fun interactive review stream if I do it. Um... Outside of that, I was only thinking about maybe doing like a Star Wars stream, Star Wars Battlefront, which is fine. We could do that whenever. But I figured this is a timely, pertinent time to do a stream like that since a lot of people are watching the show, likely will finish the show by Wednesday-ish, and then we could all talk about it together a week after it had launched. I think that would be a great way to do it, like a two-hour review stream <clears throat> where I'll split it into maybe like hour parts. For those watching on demand, it'll be a fun, open uh, you know, discussion of the show and or of Fallout lore, it'll be probably containing both. I think that'd be a great idea. I'm curious what you guys think. I wonder how many people would actually show up and participate in something like that. Because the thing is, even though I'm gonna review the show, it's just as important that people actually show up and hang out with me and participate in the interaction portion. I wanna get a discussion going about the show and I feel like that's a great avenue to do it. So that's my idea. I'll talk about it tonight in the daily wrap i'll talk about it on the podcast tomorrow hopefully it'll drum up some interest and people will show up wednesday night we'll see <clears throat> i completely agree tarnish he says the fallout show is fun as fuck yes it is a great show i i thoroughly enjoyed it a few minor nitpicky things that i will criticize in this review um on wednesday night but for the most part I really enjoyed the show. Like, I was shockingly surprised at how good it was done, especially after other video game shows like Halo or The Last of Us recently. This show, like, knocked it out of the park, in my opinion. So, um, let's see here. <clears throat> I received a couple contributions right away. Let's shout them out. I got a $2.22 tip. Uh, I've, I got to play Stellar Blade. It's fun. I like playing a female character that's pretty. Maybe you should consider it. Uh, no. But thanks for the tip. We already explained a million times why I'm not playing it. I'm not going to waste my time explaining myself for the million and first time, but I appreciate the contribution. <clears throat> I received a dollar tip from Kirk. Maybe do the first half of the show spoiler-free, the second half with spoilers. Personally, I give it a 9 out of 10. Um, but uh, no, I don't think so. Because, and here's why. Because I don't think I can even talk about the show for an hour specifically spoiler-free. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did talk about the show this morning spoiler-free on my podcast. So if anyone wants my thoughts about the show, they can check out the podcast from this morning. But I now want to go into more detail. I want to talk about specifics about the show, things I really liked, things I didn't like, things I found fascinating that they changed, but actually seemed to work nicely in the timeline. <clears throat> and also, you know what's really funny right now? There are people on the internet freaking out, saying this has to be an oversight, this has to be a mistake because it doesn't match the lore of the video games, but it was in the show. And I'm like, it's a show. It's a TV show. 
Are they not aware they're watching a TV show? Did they not realize that when it was going, they weren't controlling the characters with a controller like this? It's not the same. And I guess some people are under the impression, oh, it's supposed to be canon. It's like, it can't be canon. Because just right out of the gate, certain things about the universe are completely different from the games. So unless they're going to completely change the lore of the games, it can't be canon with the games, and that's okay. They could exist in their own separate universes and have cross-references, but still exist separately. It could be like, like we always say, the multiverse, right? You can have your video game Fallout universe, your TV Fallout universe, and there's some things that cross over, and there's some things that don't, right? And that's okay. There's people right now making videos, oh, I can't believe that the lore is not aligned, and this and that, and it's like, boy, you just don't even understand anything. And you're gonna get probably, I hate to say it, hundreds of thousands of views on bitch videos like that on YouTube. Just bitching videos that have no substance whatsoever. The, the video response should be, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> anyway. Enough of that about that. So if you like that idea, let me know. Uh, I'll talk about it more tonight on the Daily Wrap and tomorrow's podcast. But I, would I think I would like to do that on Wednesday night. I think that would be a very special week-ending stream for me that people would enjoy. Uh, I saw something about Keanu Reeves maybe voicing Shadow the Hedgehog in Sonic 3. Yes, I don't see the point or what the big deal is about that. But yeah. King Michael, good evening. How are you? Is this game worth playing? Asks Oracle684. I would say yes. If you like survival horror, you will enjoy this game. Specifically, if you like more traditional survival horror where feeling a little bit claustrophobic and crowded with certain enemies at certain times, resource management, a little bit of wonky kind of combat controls, but it's done on purpose. Um, that's what I would say you will like about the game. All right, and the lore. The, the, the actual story and lore of the game is great. It's deep. It's interesting. It keeps you on the edge of your seat, suspenseful throughout the entirety of the game. All right? <clears throat> Uh, Luthes, thanks for the super chat. I literally just said I'm not talking about Stellar Blade at all, so you just wasted your time, but thanks for the super chat. I'm not, I'm, li I'm literally not talking about the subject. I've explained my reasoning 5,000 fucking times, and the fact that people keep bringing it up, at this point, you're just trying to get to annoy me, so I'm just going to ignore you. But thanks for the super chat. Next time, maybe attach something, you know, worthwhile reading into the super chat, and then we'll talk about it. Is this a new button down? This is the last... I think button-down shirt you guys have not seen out of the ones that I purchased over the last month or two as I've been out. And I will now be rotating all of my short sleeve button-downs on late streams, from uh, or on all streams from now on until the fall because it's now warmer outside and it's warmer in this office every day. So I will be wearing these nice short sleeve button-downs for the foreseeable future. In fact, I was just looking in my closet which one I want to wear tomorrow. <laughs> I got a good amount now. I think, because I think I had like seven or eight already from last year and i think i've bought like another seven or eight in the last one to two months so i think between the two i think i now have a bottom floor of the basement so we're gonna find out what's down here now because we finally have access to it as emily uh i received a dollar tip from murray i love this game i still have a ps1 disc i gotta ask why aren't you playing it with irl puzzle box was the puzzle box only something given to big shill shill big time streamers? Oh, I have no idea. Are you saying that there's versions of this game that actually came with a puzzle box? I did not know that. I heard nothing of that. Um, I bought it myself. I bought the game outright, actually, like the week after it came out because I wasn't sure if I was going to play it. Remember, I was stuck playing so many RPGs for a time, so I ended up playing it the week after. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get the game for free or anything. I bought it, and and you know, so I didn't get any collector's edition. Fancy schmancy stuff like I guess other people did, according to you. Uh, nope. Just playing the regular game. I guess it came with a puzzle box, huh? That's intriguing. So, can I open the door? No, we need, need to find the key. key out. Can't get out. So once we pass through this door, it's basically kind of like the point of no return for the game. You go in there, You, I think uh, Carnby will be in there, and we interact with him, we go to the final lot of, like, like, I guess, alternate world segment. And then there's the finale. So, all right, guys. Thank you for watching Alone in the Dark. Next part is probably the last one. See you then. All right. I have to pee. And then we're going to continue. I want to say thanks to everyone here chilling with me here tonight. I hope you're enjoying the finale. Uh, if you like the content, please support the channel. Anything tonight would be greatly appreciated, whether it be a super chat, a membership, a gifted membership, or a tip. 
Uh, as you know, when I stream, I try to hit the, the tier one tips goal every stream. We're at five dollars out of fifty, so I probably don't think we're going to be hitting that tonight. I'm just saying, I don't foresee hitting that. It is what it is, I guess. But anything appreciated tonight for the finale, guys? I'll be right back. stick around too long but if anyone has anything they want to chat about oh by the way so i came up with an idea and i talked about it earlier but a lot of you weren't here here's the idea so i really like the fallout tv show i just finished watching it with my wife last night now originally what i was going to do was review it um as like an off camera well not off camera but an off stream video for my dsp reacts channel and i was going to upload it like maybe tomorrow night or wednesday night but i came up with this idea I think on Wednesday night, I want to do a late night stream on DSP React. It is a live review and interactive stream where we talk about the show. So if you've seen the Fallout TV show and you want to talk about all the aspects of it, what you liked, what you didn't like, the differences between the show and the games, where you think the show is going, if you like that or not, all that kind of stuff. I want to do a stream of that on Wednesday night. And I think that'd be really great for those who like the show. I loved it. And I would like to hear other people's opinions. If I do a review, it's going to be like 45 minutes. And I'm like, I might as well just do a stream of it then on Wednesday night. I don't know. If Popeye's has some decent fries. Uh, they're okay. The, the thing about Popeye's fries is they're seasoned, so they have a good flavor to them. They're not amazing, though. They're just, they're, they're, they're better than average, but they're not amazing, I don't think. it up what do you think i had a good night with you tonight i enjoyed alone in the dark uh how to you know thank you for attending for those who did and for the very few who supported thank you as well uh tomorrow we get back into well tomorrow we're gonna do something new we're gonna try this game called harold halibut and see what it is it's claymation we just looked it up and it's full claymation and it's an adventure game similar i guess to like 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 a secret of monkey island and stuff like that so i guess we're gonna see what that is tomorrow if it's good I'll keep playing it as a playthrough. If it's not, well, we'll just do the one experiment stream and that's it. Tomorrow night is the return of Street Fighter VI with Blanca. So that should be exciting. I hope that you will join me for that. Okay? All right, everyone. I'll get out of here. I want to thank you. <laughs>